This video is sponsored by Psy Games. Hey guys, Ignidius here, and welcome back to another Shadowverse Pro Player Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about one of the strongest players out from the European competitive Shadowverse scene, Himari from Team Disastro. Himari has a long list of accomplishments in competitive Shadowverse, which in 2018 included three weekly championship titles, Brigade of the Sky season MVP, and making it all the way to the European Contenders Cup in 2018, and just missing the chance to get to the World Grand Prix last year. And he's proven no slouch this year either, a fierce competitor in the March Cup, taking top 8 in the European region, as well as in the April Cup, taking top 8 as well, and finally, just last month in the European Shadowers Open June Cup, Himari took the entire thing and became the June Cup champion. So it's clear that Himari has been a very consistently good player over the course of his competitive Shadowers career, but let's stop talking about Himari and let's talk to him, shall we? How you doing, man? Yeah, fine. Fine. It's summer, hot outside, perfect to be staying indoors, playing Shadowverse all Saturday long, you know. So the first thing I always ask is, you've had such a great run this year and last year as well. What have you been doing with the prize money? What are you planning to do with the prize money that you've won so far? So far, I've saved most of the money. I think the best thing to spend money on is like events, doing something fun, nothing physical, but like going on holiday, meeting with friends, something like that. Um, currently saving, maybe I'll get to go to one of the Rage events, extend my stay uh, in Japan if, if I get to go to the World Grand Prix. Now that Erith of Glory is out, I wanted your take as a competitive player. What do you think is the most powerful card from the new set? And what do you think is the most underrated card of the new set? Well, the most powerful card is probably Furious, actually. You could take away any two abilities from him and he'd still be all right. And in addition, he like patches up or what could possibly be like Blood's Weakness with Token Spam or Aggro where Azazel's like, shield effect is not very effective, and he kind of does everything for the deck. And what do you think is the most underrated, then? So I'd say the most underrated card is Zwei. Uh I think many people were sleeping on the card just because they were looking at the Accelerate like, oh, you get two puppets, but actually playing her for five, uh, you get four procs on your Glishena countdown, so because you get two puppets, her body, and the Victoria as well and she's super flexible, so if portals start showing up more, you're gonna see a lot of that card. You got so close to reaching the World Grand Prix last year in 2018, and it's clear that you haven't gotten any less hungry for it this year with your performances so far. How confident are you feeling that you're gonna make it this time around? I'm feeling pretty confident. There's a large enough sample size that you can, you can say it's not a fluke. Throughout the two years, I've had consistent performances altogether. There's a chance for the direct invite at two points. I'm I'm third right now, and I think I'm eight points behind first place in Europe. So that would be one option. And the other one is obviously going through contenders. So uh, I'll do my best. Awesome, man. Well, I hope to see you there. Any final words you want to say? Finally, I'd like to give thanks to my team. There are some really great friends. That's the most important thing. If it were just grinding some game by myself, I'd probably not be playing anymore. It's important to have fun with your friends, and have something to focus on together. And there you have it, that's Himari, a very consistent and very strong Shadowverse competitive player, definitely one to keep your eyes on.